Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn how we can load multiple tables from Azure SQL database to Microsoft Fabric using single copy activity in Data Pipeline. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on SNES Data Engineering, then click on Workspaces, then click on your Workspace. As we are going to load the data from Azure SQL DB to our warehouse. For that, we will create a pipeline. Click on new, then click on data pipeline. Give name to your data pipeline, then click on create. So now let me show you my Azure account where I have created a database and in that database, I have multiple tables, which I'm going to copy from there to my warehouse. So this is my database. Go to query editor. Click on tables. So here, these are my different tables. Uh, one is under DBO schema and another one is under sales schema. So I'm going to read this table from DBO schema and this table from uh, sales schema. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create a lookup table in my warehouse and there I list down the schema name, table name and uh, what is the increment column which we are going to use for the incremental load and what can be the value for that. So let me show you the data in these tables. In sales order, I have sales order number, sales line number, order date, customer name, email, item and quantity, unit price and tax. And this order date I'll use for incremental load. And let me show you the data in the other table. So here we have customer ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, address city and like address information and then load date. So this load date we will use for incremental load. Now go back to your fabric account. Then click on your workspace and uh, click on your warehouse. So I have already designed the query to create the lookup table and to create those sales order and customer table in my warehouse. This is the SQL query in which I have all the queries. So first I need to create a schema where I need to create those target tables. So let me create it. Then uh, this is the lookup table which I'll create to have the list of all the tables which I need to move from Azure SQL DB to my warehouse. Select it and then run. Now I'll insert the information of both the tables like customer is in my sales schema and this is the load date uh, column which I'll use for incremental load and this is the initial value which I'm assigning to it. Okay. And uh, one is DBO schema. This is for sales order, which I have shown you in uh, my Azure SQL DB and order date is the incremental column, which I'm using for sales order. So select it and then run. Now let me check the data into this table. So here you can see I have all the information, schema name, table name and the, those incremental columns. Now I need to create customer and sales order table in my sales underscore stage schema. So for that I have designed the create script. This is for customer. Let me select it then run. Then I'll create the sales order table, select it, then run. Now go back to your data pipeline. 
here what we need to do first we will use the lookup activity to get the list of those tables and then we will use the for each activity and under the for each activity we will use the copy activity so select lookup and give name to your lookup so i am taking the data from table list click on settings as we know that lookup table is on our workspace so click on workspace then select warehouse then select your warehouse then select your table which is table underscore list then uncheck this first row only click on preview data so you can see we are getting the information from our table list table close this now click on activities then click on for each and map it with lookup activity give name to your for each activity then click on settings then check sequencer and under items click on add dynamic content and here we need to choose the lookup table list value array click on it then click on ok and inside this we will use the copy activity click on copy data then click on add to canvas give name to your copy activity then click on source as we are going to read the data from azure sql db so it will be an external connection so for that we also need to create a connection so click on new then select azure then select azure sql db then click on continue here you need to provide the server name database name and username and password so for that go to your azure account and here inside azure sql db you can see the server name copy it then paste it here and my database name is sales db sales db and give name to your connection name azure sql db now i'm choosing authentication type as basic and uh, you need to provide the username and password here after providing all the detail click on create our connection is created successfully so now we need to choose the connection type which will be azure sql database let's test our connection our connection is working successfully so here select on query and inside query tab we will write a dynamic query which will contain our schema name and table name to store schema name and table name we need two variables so go to the main canvas and click on variables then add two new variables one for schema name and one for table name and both will be string type now go inside the for each activity and here we need to set our variables so for that we need two set variable activities map it with copy activity first will be for table name so here select table name and in the value click on add dynamic content and then click on for each and this will be table name remember one thing this is coming from my lookup table click on ok now the second variable which is our schema name click on settings and this is our 
variable which we have defined in our pipeline now i need to provide the value to it click on add dynamic content then for each and inside our lookup table we are getting four columns one is table name schema name incremental column name incremental value so here we need to provide the schema name click on ok and then click on your copy activity then click on query click on add dynamic content and here we need to use concat function inside this we will write a query select star form comma first will be our schema name so for that click on variables then select schema name then dot table name so for that comma dot inside parenthesis then table name then click on ok let's test our query review data and now provide the schema name and table name for at least one of the table so i am selecting my customer table which is inside my sales schema you can see i got the data close it now go to your destination and uh, workspace data store type should be data warehouse and select your data warehouse which is warehouse sales and we need to select existing as we have already created the tables so here we can't simply select one table because lookup table is returning first the customer then the sales order so it should be dynamic so for that click on edit and here our schema name is going to be fixed which is sales underscore stage table is name is going to be dynamic click on add dynamic content then click on variables then select table name click on ok now let me check it whether it's working correctly or not click on preview data and provide your table name which is customers so it will be taking the data from my target table which is under sales underscore stage schema click on ok so we don't have any data inside our target table close it then click on home save it then click on run click on output let's wait for some time until it is finished our pipeline is completed successfully now let's go to our warehouse and verify the data click on your warehouse and then uh, inside schema we have sales stage schema and inside we have customer and sales table click on your customer table you can see we have the data click on your sales order in both the tables data load has been done successfully so this is how you can load the data from multiple tables using copy activity i hope you like the video please do like and subscribe and in case of any suggestion please provide your comment thank you for watching this video